What up, peeps? This is Get With It Sports, a place where you get your sports with a little swag. I'm Glass. And I'm Brandon. The best tag team tandem out here in sports talk. About to get on these NFL draft. As you know, it's down here. It's here in our hometown, Chicago. We should be down there, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delve into a little bit. Um, we've been talking off air with a couple of uh, a couple of friends of the show. Shouts mm-hmm. out to Chippadelphia, uh, Elliot, Big E from Sports World Radio. Of course, the homie, fam, Big Q from Team Board TV. Hey, bro. It's almost time to get back on. I know you've been trying to avoid the NFL talking sports. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to pull you back in, man. Um, let's start off with the with the with the trades that's already happened. We've been talking about this off air with the, with the with friends of the show. Okay. All right, Brandon, check it out. I didn't put. I was putting up the notes, but I was talking to guys. And I didn't finish off. But let's talk about the 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 Rams Titans trade. The was Eagles Browns trade, and let's match that up to the what to the to the dubious 2012 Washington uh and Rams trade. All right, okay. So I'm gonna run them uh, glass with trying to get some. Okay, so check this out. Let me go ahead and get on my stuff. First off, first trade that jumped off was the Rams Rams Titans trade. The Rams got the number one overall pick. Of this year's draft, right? They got the fourth and sixth round pick of this year's draft. So they got the number one, the fourth and sixth round of this year's draft, right? The Titans got the first round pick of the Rams' first round pick, which is number fifteen. Cool. Mm-hmm. They got two second round picks of two thousand sixteen. They got a third round pick, and next year they got the first and third round pick. They got their own first and third round pick. They got the Ram. All the, no, they got all the Rams. They got the Rams two second rounds. All right. The third round, and next year's first, first and third round. Third round. <laughs> okay, you you got that right. Right. All right. Hold on. Okay. I would know. I wish I, would, I would, like I said, I typed in the notes so you can so you can visually see this stuff. Let's move on to the. I think the damn near following week, the Eagles and the Browns made a trade. Right. The Eagles get the number two overall pick of this year's draft. The Browns' 2017 fourth round pick, not the first, second, or third, the fourth round pick of next year. Okay. The Browns get the Eagles' first round pick, number eight, this year. Mm-hmm. Third round pick, number 77, of this year. Mm-hmm. Fourth round pick, 100, number 100 of this year. Are right, you with me? Yeah. Then they get the first round pick of 2017 and the second round pick of 2018. You got that? I got that. Now, my thing is this. Before I even we even match it up to the Washington the Washington Rams pick of 2012, the Rams, it's not that bad. It ain't that much damage. You're only getting hurt this year and next year. You know what I'm saying? But it's the first and third round pick of next year that kind of like hurt me. You know what? You you giving up, you giving up the house this year. We I got that. Mm-hmm. It's the first or third of next year that get me. All right, you, you with me on that, right? The Eagles, though, that's that shit gonna burn for three years. <laughs> this year, 17. This year, it's 17, the first round of 17, and the second round of 18. You know what I'm saying? So that burn. Matching up to the Washington and Rams trade. The Rams, I mean, Washington gave up. I'm sorry, Washington got the number two overall pick, and that's when they picked up RG3. Right. One person. For one person, you gave up the first round, second round of 2012, the first round of 2013, and the first round of 2014. That hurt right there. You're giving up first round picks for the next for the next three years. Three years. You know what I'm saying? But, the, but just like I was telling them off the air, 
you know what you was getting when RG3. So Washington gave up the ship. <laughs> I mean, he gave up the house for RG3, correct? Correct. Let's go fast forward this shit. These people gave up the ship for who? Jeff, uh, I'm sorry, Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. I never seen a damn thing from Carson Wentz. He over at North Dakota State, which is a problem with me. It's not a Division One, Division One A team. Kind of get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jer Jared Goff at least played. I'm not. I'm not issuing on other conferences and other divisions, but you kind of seen California Bears play football on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, them two. They're not Andrew Luck. They're not RG3. You're giving up the ship for people that you really don't know. You don't even know if they're, they're, their type of, of play correlates to the NFL. So it's, I, And like I told them off here, I can see the Los Angeles Rams doing it because they're moving, to, they're moving from St. Louis to L.A. and you're going to pick up an L.A. quarterback. Okay. I uh, Nick Foles, is he still on the team? He, Kurt, all right, hold on. Let me read the comment real quick before we move on. Chippadelphia said, if you think about it, the Eagles only traded a one, two, and three because others are offsetting. Nah, man. Nah, man. I'm looking at nah. Not for not for uh, who who you think? All right, I think golf gonna go number one and Wentz gonna go number two. But you giving on one and four in return. Well, <laughs> You know what? All the hoopla now, as far as all these trades, I could understand if all these moves was being made for the two guys that was coming out last year. For the two guys right. that was coming out last year. Right. Um, Winston and what's the other one? Um, Mariota. Uh, Mark Mariota. Yeah. All this, exactly. Yeah. This stuff going on right now, you know, unless they just – Actually, the team that's that's getting the picks, mm -hmm. they making out because they're getting the bodies. You know, they exactly. The so, yeah, I don't – unless they got some secret weapon that they're going to get these two particular guys that they everybody trying to hustle and move up for, it, it, don't, it don't make sense. It don't make sense to me. All right. Like you say, only one of them, only one of them quarterbacks actually ran a pro-style uh, offense. Um, yeah, golf. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, mm -hmm. other one, they don't, you know, it's all all potential, you know. Right. You know what potential get. I know. You know what? Like I said, do what you got to do as a team. I know the Eagles. But see, let's get to the Eagles in a minute because, oh, oh, Wentz. Okay, Wentz ran the pro style? Okay, cool. But who did Wentz? Okay, like I said, I sound like I'm dumping on on uh, mid-major yeah. mid teams. But who did they play? I know they won the, they won the championships and everything, but. Come on, man. And like I said, I told me and you talked off air at, at work. Um, I asked you, where the, well, how come nobody talk about Trayvon Boykin? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, that what gets me. Nobody, they still ain't talking about him. They still ain't him. talking about him. This man sitting here, like I said, fourth place in his junior year for the Heisman. He wouldn't, I think he came in 10th place his senior year before he eye jamming the police officer at the bar. But who don't mm -hmm. make who doesn't make mistakes? He's young, dumb, probably drunk. Hit this guy in the eye. Now, everybody just blackballing him from the NFL. That was crazy. And that's and I, I'm not a Cardell Jones supporter. I'm a fan. I'm not a supporter. And it's like this man won three games his first time playing and won you a championship. Talking about Ohio State, right? He might not even go to the third round. You know, it doesn't get me. And for like the rent for the Eagles, if you really want a quarterback, you still got Paxton Lynch from Memphis. You got Connor Cook from Michigan State. You already had Sam Bradford, so you really wasn't right. Really wasn't hurting for a QB, but you gonna give up the shit for people that nobody know of. Now let's let's just go ahead. I'm go ahead and put Sam Bradford. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna throw shots at Sam Bradford. Okay, Eagles did what they did. Got the number two pick. Going for a quarterback. What the, and Sam Bradford the next day said he he feel a certain type of way because they made this move. 
That dude need to quit. Now he want to get traded. <laughs> now he want to get traded. Bruh, listen, man. <laughs> Sam Bradford came into the league. Wait. He is refusing to answer texts from the coaching staff. I, I'm not shocked. He acted like, okay, real talk. We might be rate. <laughs> I might be getting losing my mind. I'm going ahead and put it out there. This is gonna be maybe rate rated R. Sam Bradford acting like a bitch right now. For real, for real. Straight up, straight up bitch. Loose. Listen, man. You already stole 78 million dollars. Stole his whole career. His whole career. He might have yeah. played one full season. And it wasn't a good one. And it was thank you. He uh six seasons made 78 million dollars. While only playing 63 games out of 96. That means you missed 33 games, bro. You and you still making money. Still making money. Hey, all right. Uh hey, Chippadelphia. How much um how much was the card? It was two years. All right, he put it up here. Last player to get the old rookie contract. Was, exactly. He was the last one on that on that on that uh con rookie contract thing. Played his entire contract out twice. Really? 22 million this year. He's making 22 million this year. This man damn near making a hundred million dollars in his career. Probably played under a hundred games. And you crying about competition. All right. He they didn't say he was gonna get booted because it's rookie. Supposed to welcome it. Man, it, it, uh, dude, that's that's when you call somebody somebody straight being a prima donna. It did what messing me up. My beloved Broncos talking about. <laughs> trying to get him. No, man, dude. No. No. This man made a glass. No pun intended. This man made a glass. <laughs> <laughs> and no, man, I'd rather I, I'm cool. You know what? If I can't get Colin Kaepernick, Ryan Fitzgerald, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> and they fine. still out there. Ain't nobody talking about them either. No. No. They ask for too much money, man. Nobody talking about them. Nope. So, um, so let me ask you: out of the three trades, we're talking about 2012 Washington Rams. We're talking about the 2000 this year's uh, Rams. Brown. No, I'm sorry. Rams. Titans. Eagles. Mm -hmm. Browns. Who made who? I'm going to tell you mine. Number one, definitely going to be was uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, Washington. Rams trade was the was the most damaging. I put it like that because they gave up a lot of first round picks for one person. Okay, mm -hmm. second one has to be the Eagles. Not the fact for, for a person that I really don't know, you gave up picks for three for a three year span. Three years, three right. year span. Then next, would be, then next would be the Rams Titans. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Now, with that being said, the Browns. You know what you know what this remind me of? Just like we you selling your house. It's worth 200 mil, 200,000. Mm -hmm. You put it on the market, this this man come up in here, you tell him he say I buy your house for <laughs> not even saying that you ain't even telling much you selling the house for. This man come in and say I take your house for 500 million. Damn. Okay, cool. That's what happened. That's what happened with these two trades with the Rams and Titans and and uh Eagles and Browns. They probably like, you know, we're going to throw a number against the wall and see what they say. And they took it. <laughs> Brown's like, oh, what? You actually took that? Okay, cool. So, you equate this trade to like the um, the New Orleans Saints trade when when Dicker was down there with the Ricky Williams trade. Oh, that was stupid. Well, did. Oh, <laughs> let me see. I forgot about that trade, right? For it to get to get uh Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams, yeah, he traded all they picks. That's true. Oh, he gave up everybody. That might be the worst. I think that might be up there. That might be the worst. I forgot about that one. You really gone? Oh, wait, wait, hold up. All right, Chip. What did Chip say? Number one, Chip Adelphia. I thought you was gonna trade. I thought you were gonna change that name, man. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, uh, you really going with Chad Sanchez? I'm cool with Sanchez. Hopefully, we get the Sanchez, the Jets, the 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 2000, was it 2010 Jets Sanchez, where he took him to the playoffs. Uh, took oh no, took him to the conference championship twice, two in a row, right? Yeah, yeah that, 
That's the that's Sanchez I want. This No, nah, I ain't talking about the butt fumble Sanchez. No, nah, I don't want that. But then, right now, right, listen, I'm still in eufor euphoria because I'm still drunk off of the championship. So right now, I don't give a damn. As long as we don't get Tim Tebow, I'm all good. Plug and play. I, somebody in that front office still got his number. Hey, man, stop that, dude. Stop that, dude. Tim <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy said my Broncos are going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. Okay, that's cool. Like I said, I'm drunk off this championship right now. I got three. I got three Lombardi trophies up in the in the in the trophy cabinet. I'm good, man. Uh, his three year was his only good. His three year was okay. First two years he threw double the interceptions and TDs. Are we talking about Sanchez? Seven sixteen first year. Okay, with Sanchez. Okay, that's fine. But listen, man, with the type of defense we got, well, I don't know because you know the Jets while he was over there. They are, they had a dominating defense too, for the most part. That's true. That's you know, true. Yeah. That's, they always feel a good defense. But you know uh, what? I'm, I'm, he got in trouble. Sanchez got in trouble when they didn't have no running game. Right. That's when he got in trouble. Right. I agree. I agree. But we got uh, our running game kind of suspect. I understand that, but we all good. Now, um, uh, where was that go? There was another one. Oh, just, I don't know if you've seen the notes. Let's talk about the about two, three weeks ago. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get your opinion on this. Two, three weeks ago, the NFL.com gave uh was ranking the division since two, you know, they've been ranking the divisions since 2012. So here's the rankings of 2016. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go from eight to one. All right. The worst ten, the worst division, NFC East. Number seven. Let me get this right. Number seven, AFC South. Number six, NFC South. Number five, NFC North. Number four is AFC East. Number three is AFC West. Number two, NFC West, and the number one division. And the NFL is the AFC North. I have no problems with that ranking. I don't think I would switch any of it. Uh, you know what? I take that back. You want me to go? You, you got it? Yeah. I might switch. I mean, it's just a minor switch. I might switch number four and number five. I might move the NFC North above the AFC East. AFC North. NFC North. Right. You talking about oh, oh, I'm sorry. Number one is AFC North. Right. I'm I'm just visualizing who will every team that's in that division. Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Cleveland. And the NFC West got uh, well. Oh, that's South. No, NFC West NFC West has um so right, San Francisco, Seattle. Rams, I'm missing one. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, who, who am I missing? Okay, I'm sorry. Seattle, San Francisco, Arizona, and okay, Rams. Arizona. Right. I'm cool with that. Uh, AFC West was number three. Number, oh, let me think about that one. They number three. I don't know. I don't. I don't like them. them. <laughs> uh, no, nah, they number three: Broncos, Chiefs, Chargers. Who am I missing? Hey, Raiders. No, nah, they up and coming. I like the Raiders. The Raiders are moving up. The Chiefs is already there. San Diego's the one that's that's been slipping. So I I take that number three. But like I said, the NFC North will come before the AFC East. NFC North, we got the Bra we got the Bears, Vikings. Packers, Lions, right, AFC right. East, AFC East. They got the Patriots, <laughs> right? I, you know, Miami. I thought they was up and coming. They, they, they. Yeah, I, 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 I thought Miami would get them a, a run last year. I know we all did. They did. They just crapped in the crap. Okay, here we go. We got comments here. Let me see. Let me see. They can. Uh, all right. Big Q say AFC North. Wow. 
They had a horrible season last, huh? AFC North had a horrible season. They got to be the worst. How they have? Oh yeah, I got them. I got yeah, I got you. Oh, I don't think the North should be number one. I don't think they should be number one. Then you know what? After I thought about Baltimore, they played like crap. But the Steelers was in there. They just had injuries. Who else? Cincinnati. They could have. They could have made it further. I see now. I don't know if they're going by the 2016 season or what they're projecting for next year. Because the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, listen, I'm going to put out here first. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. What it, says, it says here's the rankings for the 2016 season. So this is how they ranking them. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. For this season. Upcoming. Right. For the upcoming season. And I agree with that. All right. So Big Q, they're going by this season. Now, you know, just as, a lot, just as much as I know. Baltimore not gonna be playing like they did last year. They had they had uh uh yes yeah, oh, I'm sorry Chip uh Chip Adelphi. it is a projection because just like he said 2016 for the 2016 season. Back to Baltimore is, will not have an injury prone team like they did last year. Everybody gonna be up to par. I got that. So I think they're going by that. I'm going to put it out there right now. Put a stamp uh, a time stamp on this. Hey, bro, Super Bowl 51. Will be the Steelers and Seattle. You heard it here first. Big Q. Steelers. Yeah. I like the Seattle part. Steelers gonna be there. Yeah, Big Q. I like the Seattle part. <laughs> Steelers? Dude, listen, man. They got the run game. Le- Le'Veon Bell coming back. They already had um who was the back? Who was the backup? Pick one. <laughs> I can't remember. Quarterback in line. He's going to be healthy. He got wide receivers up to Kahoot, even though Martav- Martavis Bryant going to be out. Their offense was never the question, even when guys got hurt. It was their defense, even though they did play play good in certain, in certain parts of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. But they secondary slow. Uh and they don't they don't have a pass rush that they had before. They can't stop the run like they once did. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the problem with Pittsburgh. Do they just outscore everybody? Mm-hmm. You know. And so that's that's the thing. And then you know, big man. I know people don't want to believe it. He getting up there. <laughs> you know, just like Brady. You know, just like Peyton was. You know, they can't play forever. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just saying, but. They was impressive last year, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I hear what you're saying. You make good, you make great points. That's the reason why you're my tag team partner. But anyway, I'm not gonna backtrack. You heard it here first. I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Especially the Seattle part, BQ. <laughs> All right, BQ said, watch, watch the AFC South. All those teams got exponentially better except Indy. I agree. I totally agree. Houston. Jacksonville. I'm always been a Jacksonville J- Jacksonville Jaguar supporter. I you know they was he was, they were my sleeper team for like the past damn near past two three years. Uh, who else we got left up there? You got Indy, Jacksonville. Oh, and Tennessee. Yeah, I totally agree with uh, Big Q on that one. Uh, I thought based on last year, for the instance, the Eagles have seventh easiest schedule by the same people, but it's be- it's based off of how teams finished last year. Okay. Um, Big Q says Seattle got to deal with the a- NFC South. <laughs> okay, slow up, slow up. All right, Big Q, I know you're a Carolina Panther fan, bro, but that's all y'all got. So that's two games out of everybody in that in the AFC in uh, uh NFC NFC South. They gonna they gonna run over. Hey, read the next comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I think Seattle. Will- <laughs> Well, three yeah, out of those four AFC South games, they may be normal, but they will get by. But they wait, they may beat Norlands, but they will get by. They will not. I take you what you're saying. They will not get by Carolina, Atlanta, Tampa Bay. What? Atlanta. I'm not impressed with Atlanta. Number one. Tampa Bay, they up and coming. But uh well, you know, they're, they're only the two top up and coming teams right now, I think Tampa right. Bay, which and uh, I think Jacksonville, right? Right, I yeah. agree, I agree. 
Uh, whoever got the NFC East is getting. We got the NFC East, bro. Devil Broncos. Yeah, we got to give me. I ain't gonna trip. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, Tampa. Atlanta defense is a hell of a lot better last. Was a hell of a, a hell of a lot better last year. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was a problem them trying to stop people. They couldn't score. You know, right? You know, I uh, was it after the first four? What for, first four first games? Five, I think it was. First five, yeah, they, they just, crapped out. I don't know. Who, yeah, I don't know who's in them uniforms after that. Right. All right. Let me give a let me give a give a give a little nugget to the D- Dallas Cowboys. Uh, first or second round, y'all need to get a quarterback. <laughs> they have to get a qu- dude. If these fools don't get the quarterback before the end of this night, they stuck on stupid. They dumb as hell. If you didn't, if you didn't see what happened last year, Tony Romo, when Tony Romo played, they was what four and zero. Am I not mistaken? Yeah. After he had broke his collarbone, they didn't win another game. So, scouts. You ain't have to scout hard. Like I said, I don't know what pick they got in the first round. Uh-oh, I just lost my partner. I don't know what pick they got in the first round. Yeah. What number they got? They got number four? Oh, they might go after that. I heard everybody talking about they uh, probably going after Ezekiel Ezekiel Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott. What they in the back? But they got a second round pick. They got to get a quarterback. Ramsey? I like me some Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. I like Jalen Ramsey. He All right, be a finish, bad pick. Uh, what'd you say, Big Q? If they don't draft a QB to, yeah, exactly, they deserve to have a season as bad as they did last year. I totally agree. I mean, if you have to, listen, I've always said it <laughs> my definition of common sense <laughs> it's one of the only things that's free and priceless at the same time, and people usually don't value it or use it. That's gonna go with the Cowboys, dude. If you didn't learn from last year, you plugged in three different quarterbacks and still didn't win a game. Let me get my partner back up in here. I'm sorry, man. And then win a game. <clears throat> you have to have a backup quarterback. I don't know. I, you know, I don't care if you get in the draft or you just free agency, but you got to get a back a, a quality backup quarterback for Tony Romo. Because I guarantee you right now, he will not last the season. He might last eight games this year. But if you're in the running, and the, the NFC East is up in the air. So the Cowboys should have had it last year. Tony Romo got hurt. You got what you got. <laughs> it's still up in the air. I believe it's up in the air this year. Yeah. I'm not impressed with uh, what the Giants are doing. I'm not impressed with Washington. I'm not impressed with what's, what. Oh, I'm damn sure not. Imp- no, 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 no shade on Chip Adelphi, but I ain't impressed with the <laughs> with the Eagles. So the Cowboys still in the run to take the NFC East. They may be favored. Right. All right. Let me see what Tip of Devil. Both, uh, both their DNs are suspended for the first four, first four games. We're talking about. I think the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys. Uh, uh, okay. So, all right. Let me ask you this question, Chip Adelphia. All right. First four games. It matters who they play in the first four games. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't have it offhand right now. So that's that's backup. No, they need to find somebody. Who straight up replaced Romo? Like you said, he's good for. Yeah, I totally agree. They got they have to make some moves on the quarterback position. Um, let me ask you the first three: Giants, Redskins, Bears. So the Cowboys playing the Giants, Redskins, Bears. They can go either way. Yeah, yeah. They can go either way. I know this is called the Draft Town Edition, but let me get off the draft and let's talk about. Oh God, I had it in my head real quick. Um, gosh, we just talked about it the, uh, the other day. Oh, I lost them again. Um, all right, we talked about Sam Bradford, garbage. It was another thing. Oh, oh man, hey, 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 Brandon, you got to come back since you're a patriot, <laughs> patriot lover. God, come on back, bro. Because we got to talk about this. I'm tired. I'm so tired of this deflate gate, man. I guess they suspended him for the. They are going to suspend him for four games, right? 
Big Q, Chip. I know Glad Betray. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, leave out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kick you out. You just come back in, bro. Uh, four games of hell, dude, man. Bro. All right, here we go. Thank you, man. I gotta have a a patriot love in. Uh, come on, Brandon. So they did uphold the four, four games. So he will be, as of right now, he will be suspended for four games, correct? Come on, Brandon. I got to hear your two cents on this garbage here. <laughs> no problem, bro. No problem. Go ahead, get your eat on. Uh, Brandon, what's going on, man? Tom Brady says, stop playing with his name. <laughs> Respect my name, right? <laughs> Next time you say his name, you better out. There you go, right? You better out some respect on it, right? Exactly. Uh, I think he can. I think Brady can appeal again. But come on, man. Let's not. I'm tired of beating a dead horse down, man. Come on. Hey, Brandon, you got to give me your two cents on your on your beloved Patriots, man. Uh, it will go to the Supreme to the okay to the Supreme Court. All right, let's see if we can get you back up in here. I'm so tired of this thing. I hate the Patriots. Okay. I, I, all right, we, did you hear what we we just said off air? No. All right, all right. Let's talk about Tom Brady and this four game suspension that they upheld. Okay. You agree with it with the four game suspension for Brady? No, we passed that already. Why we got to rehash all that again? We we move we've moved on. You know. As much as I love for the for the Patriots to get damaged like this, let's. I'm t I'm so tired of the flake gate, man. I, just like you said, I'm past it. I hate the Patriots. I'm past this, man. You know what? So it's. Uh, but you know, I do understand why the courts did what they did. Because as me being a former union steward and you being a current union steward, the CBA was Goodell get control of everything. Yeah. So now I guess the courts now say, whoa, hold up. Why are we even taking this to court? Because the CBA was Roger, Roger Goodell holds the power in his hand and they need y'all need to respect that. And they, right. they, they gave it to him. Why? They gave him all that power. I have no idea. But they did. Now, from what I understand, Jeff Saturday, which is now he used to be the center for the Colts. Now he's on ES, he's an ESPN analyst. He was saying that there, I guess he was on the committee when they was uh, trying to get the CBA together mm -hmm. with the before they uh, was a couple of years ago. Anyway, he was saying they was going after the health issues, and I think they was going they was going after the health issues, and they was going after no full contact during practice and i think they were trying to shorten the otas so it was all health it was all health so oriented in there right so they did i guess i don't know if they brought it up about roger Goodell having all this power mm -hmm. but it is what it is you know um uh, so it's like now they're saying i guess even jeff saturday said Let's not bitch about the power Roger Goodell said because we had a chance to take care of this. But of course, as you know and I know, when it comes to people getting that getting them game checks, you rather get them game checks and deal with the other stuff later. Now it's coming back and hitting them in the face. And now they're crying about it. Right. All the way. Big Q said, look, that dude ain't getting away that getting away that crap, no matter how. Man, no matter how long it takes, he's going. He's going down, Roger Goodell. <laughs> yep, that's Roger Goodell. That's, that's what he's saying. R Roger Goodell, like, nah, <laughs> nah, ninja, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I still got to beef with you. <laughs> uh, three. That guy, uh, he don't want. He don't want to mess with Tom. He don't. Right, he don't. man. Come on, man. You don't want to mess with him. You know what? Yeah, I. He want hear my conspiracy. My conspiracy. About about the Patriots. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. Them balls was deflated because when Tom Brady got asked, "Do you think you cheat?" 
He said, I don't think so. <laughs> what kind of answer is that, man? Why don't you just say, hell no, nah, or no, I don't think so? Was, Number one. Was a, okay. It was an open question. He gave it an open ass. He said that right before that, before the AFC championship game. Correct? Uh-huh. He wanted to play that. He wanted to play in the championship. That's what that was all about. I'm gonna give you whatever answer I, I, I got. I'm gonna give you whatever answer I'm gonna give you, just so I can play in the, in the Super Bowl. Whatever happens after Super Bowl, y'all can do whatever you want. That's what I'm. Let thinking. me ask you this about okay about the deflated footballs, or whatever. After every play, don't the ref grab the football? Mmm. He's supposed to. He does. He puts it down. <laughs> he he, picks, he grabs it. And he sits it right. down. He spots right. every, every play after every play. Right. I'm just saying. You put that on your right. conspiracy theories too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. The ball is okay. touched by officials every play. All right. Uh, Chip, Chip definitely said, I got a jet, guys. Love the show, though. You just got a new listener. I appreciate it, Chip Adelphia, man. We're going to try to get on every week. We've been, we've been slacking a little bit because of things happening up in the households, but. It's all good, man. But I appreciate the love, man. And we'll see you next week, man. Uh, hey, boy, they got to put some respect on his name. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't matter, though. They went on to win the Super Bowl. even if, Exactly. Even if they did find out right. that the balls are underinflated, what's going to happen? They're going to take the championship away? Nah, they ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to tell you what happened. Listen, hey, here's my theory. They're going to let it go, right? Yeah. Remember a couple of years ago, I mean a couple of weeks ago, it was seven Patriot fans file a damn lawsuit to get the to get their first round pick back. Well, that's you remember, that? from. you remember that? Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, about I think it was two, three weeks ago. Okay, it was going, you know what? Because I know I was gonna put it on the on our next uh two cent deposit show. Seven Patriot fans filed a lawsuit to say that they deserve the first round picks back. Mm -hmm. Roger Goodell in the NFL was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You don't want to let this shit go? I ain't going to let this shit go. Dr. Brady. <laughs> yeah, it ain't the, the Patriots didn't do it, though. But the fact that you go, come on, man. You don't listen to those seven fans. <laughs> well, I bet you, if you go back, all seven of them, and, and neither one of them are ticket holders. I don't know, man. They put they come together, put some money together. They they might hold a little something up in that stadium, man. They may they might have a season ticket in Gillette Stadium, bro. But the fact that you got the Gahona to sit here and file a lawsuit, get to NFL, I think Roger Goodell like, damn it, I'm God. <laughs> How dare you? Since you did this, dock that mug. <laughs> get that mug the four games back, man. But uh, um, all right. Before before we end end this show, man. Let me ask you this. As a Bears fan, we're both Bears fans. I'm, I'm just a diehard Bronco fan, but I love my hometown Bears. Who the Bears should get? What position should they get? With the, what, We got the 11th pick. Yep, the 11th pick. What position, man? All right, let me see what Vic you got to say. I'm just saying, if, if Brady came clean, we – Thank you. That's all I'm saying. If Brady came clean, what are they going to do? Yeah, what are they going to do? Right. So yeah, what they gonna do? Oh wait, man. Hey, wait, hey, big Q. Are you trying to say the Bears should get a QB? Is that what that QB stands for? <laughs> he said, "Yeah." All right, Brady. Who should the Bears get with the number? I, I think the Bears should draft a quarterback, not with the first round pick. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm um I'm all for them drafting a uh, an offensive lineman or. A, de a defensive line, a defensive player. You know, I don't – which ones, I don't know. They got so many. Um, I had a list. I don't know why I did with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more so the offensive line because you, you you protect you protect Jay and uh, everything else is going to fall in. He already got the weapons around him. You keep him upright. He's going to be all right. You don't need a draft. What you say? Don't you think we don't have color signs for him? It's just we. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> no. All right. Um, no, I agree. We should get a QB, but not in the first round, not in the second round. 
probably third round. I believe one of these guys, you know what? You got, like I said, uh, you got Paxton Lynch, Connor Cook, Cardell Jones, Dak Prescott, Trayvon Boykin. There's enough out there to get in the third round to back to back up <coughs> Cullen. And I, you know what? Actually, Cullen didn't do it. Cullen didn't, Cullen didn't do a bad job last he year. He didn't. He didn't lose nothing. I, I don't think he lost a game last year. Now, let me ask yeah. you, the running back uh, yeah. from Ohio State is there at 11. Do you take him? Oh. You know what? And me and you talked off air. I have no problem with Langford, man. I don't need. I don't either. Uh, no, nah, I'll pass on Elliott. Now, for me, I think the Bears should get, like you said, offensive lineman, of course. Defensive line, I will go with the secondary before I go with the defensive line. Right, the defensive line is getting better. Yeah, exactly. Getting better. Uh, yeah, you got to clean up that secondary. But like I said, like uh, Big Q said, you know, they can get swallowed up by Minnesota and Green Bay. You mm -hmm. solidify that offensive line because right now, what's the most dominating position in Minnesota? A defensive line. Right. You know, Green Bay, I, they defense is hit, hit or miss. I don't – they don't really. But their offensive line is always, you know. Right. Well, not last year, though. Boy, he keeps – I mean uh, – Oh, no, not last year. Because – cause, Last year. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers got laid on his back a couple of times, a little bit more than usual. Um. So wait, what did Big Q said you need to make an impact though? They will have sweat. Uh, well, you no. know what? Um, right now, I think I think Green Bay was going to, is going to take a step back. I think uh, Detroit going. To, I think we might be Madison, Minnesota. If they keep on doing what they're doing, they might be mm. first in first in the uh, NFC North. Like I said, I think it go. It might go Minnesota, Chicago, Green Bay, Detroit because. Aaron Rodgers and, and the Packers can't keep this up. They getting old and they getting long in the tooth. And I think uh, the the linemen, as you can tell last year, unless they do something in, in the draft in the trades, they getting old too. And Aaron Rodgers feeling the brunt of the uh, of that line, you know. And then right, uh, RJ, uh, what's his name? Uh, Raji. Oh, what's it? what's the what's the defensive lineman? He retired. He just retired. Oh no, he he uh. He left uh, football for a while, for a year. What well, is uh, Raji? Golly, I can't remember. I Green can't Bay? remember his name. Yeah, from Green Bay. Raji's, I think it's his last name. Well, he left football mm -hmm. for a year. So we, we'll see. Green Bay got all, Green Bay got a little bit exposed last year. Roger had a permanent spot. In the ter yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. So I, you know, we have to wait and see. Round right now for my beloved Broncos. Uh, defense straight, offensive line. We might need a little help because hell, I don't even know who we got for quarterback right now. Run game, run game. I'm gonna say the run game. They need a running back. They need, yeah, we need a running back for Green Bay. Hey, Big Q, let me ask you some. Who do you think the Carolina? Carolina's right up on the earth. I think we think we got the thirtieth pick, and I think Carolina got the 29th, If I'm mistaken, who do you think Carolina should pick? Um, with their first round pick. Oh, that's what. Real quick before we leave, we got to talk about Josh Norman. Oh. Talk about. So I, I'll wait till I. We're gonna go ahead and go on until I hear if Big Q is gonna tell us who they should pick in the first round. I was salivating over Lawson. The linebacker. Hmm. That's not a bad one. Keekly lost. That'd be nice. That would be nice. If he's if he's down, it's but it looks like we may yeah. get uh off tackle, off guard. Offensive tackle, offensive guard. Yeah, that's true. And uh them I think them too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh let's talk about Josh Newman before we get up out of here, man. That you know, I'm telling you right now, Big Q. I'm sure you 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 attest to this. Josh Norman didn't want to lead Panthers. I think he was trying to hit. Uh, not even him. I think his agent was going was trying to play hardball. <laughs> and Carolina Panthers like we ain't got time for this ish, man. Nah, <laughs> because 
I think I told you off here. If I if, let me know if I'm correct, Big Q, I believe he was asking for 16 million. Right. The Panthers offer 11 million. Recycle. Um. The the franchise tender was 13.9, if I'm mistaken. So you got him asking for 16. He want to be the highest paid cornerback. Right. Panthers giving him 11. 13.9 is the tender. My if my mathematics correct, I would have signed that tender and we'll work on the 16 million later on. But he didn't sign it. He was playing hardball. Now he was trying to be paid. He's trying to be now this this is how tedious this was. He was trying to pay, he tried to get 16. Uh Revis, Darrell Revis making 14.2. Right, he don't have right. Josh Norman don't have an island, <laughs> right? He making fourteen point two. That's where you getting greedy, like, dude, man. Ask for fifteen. If anything, ask for fourteen point five. Don't you ain't you ain't got you don't have the body of work like Revis. You asking for sixteen, and I think and if I think Gettleman, the owner, mm -hmm. Rivera was like, dude. You didn't make us. We made you. That front seven made Josh Norman. Because Josh Norman, 28, how long he been in the league? He been in the league long enough that all of a sudden you pop up doing your job and now you want to ask all this money? So I'm sure the Panthers and them said, the hell with it. And Josh Norman was like, whoa, whoa, wait. What happened? <laughs> That's why he fired his agent. He didn't like the way his agent got him booted out of uh, Carolina. Uh -huh. Now let's... Now let's fast forward to Washington Redskins. They gave Washington. I hate saying star word. Washington. They gave him what 15, 15, 15 mil a year? 15 mil for five years, right? I mean, 15 million a year for five years. So $75 million. I think $50 million guaranteed. Right. So you got your money, but you ain't on the team that you want to be on. You can tell in this press conference, man. He right. he hurt. He hurting. All right, let me hear. Let me read what Big Cuban saying. He didn't, but he got caught up. His folks promised him that money, and he got it. Yeah, right, exactly. You wanted the money, you got it. You just got on the wrong team. Uh, first, he don't deserve to be the highest paid CB. I agree with you on that. Uh, Big Q also said he should have signed that ten. I, yes, good thing that contract says. Good thing that contract says 50 guaranteed, right? Please, you saw what Gittleman did to Steve Smith <laughs> over three million. Josh didn't have a chance, right? 1505, right? He let him send them to Baltimore packing, but you can't. Um, yeah, he should have signed the tender or whatever, or because the team gonna be good, you're gonna get your money, you're gonna exactly. get it if you worth it, you're gonna get it anyway, right? You know, so that's that's one thing I like about Richard Sherman. You know, he didn't start demanding nothing after he, you know, he got great, you know, great corner status or whatever. He's like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm gonna wait my turn. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, that, and that's what he did. You know, right, right. I, you know what? And agents make a big, big deal when it comes to, uh, to talks, contract talks, because like I, I believe I give a whole lot of credit to the Carolina Panthers for doing what they for doing what they did. You see what the Broncos went through when we had with Osweiler. Mm. Somebody else, uh, you know what the Jets are going through with uh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, who has the same agent as Osweiler. When it comes to these agents, I think some of these teams are like, man, I'm not dealing. With, I ain't gonna go through all this crap with you, with you and your agent. And I think that's what was went on, went on with Carolina. Carolina got a nice nucleus they got a like a, a family oriented team you know they're taking selfies and all this stuff they got a nice thing going on they didn't need josh norman sitting here throwing trying trying to start a ruckus not showing up to otas and all this stuff and everything being about josh norman so yeah. i guess Rip, rivera gentleman was like dude dude if you don't want to play ball with us like i said we don't need you we're gonna have we'll find something else to plug and play you know so Kudos to the Panthers for doing what they're doing. Josh Norman, you got your money. Be happy. And Josh Norman, first three games, he going up against Des Bryant, Odell Beckham. Who's the other guy? Oh, and uh, Antonio Brown. So we're going to see how much skills you got when it comes to your secondary, man. 
So let's see what Big Q says. Uh, the team was good to everybody else. Josh saw that. I don't know why he got so greedy. I, I don't think it was him. I think it was his agent. I think he would listen to his agent, and his agent told him wrong. That's the reason why he fired him. You can tell your agent, look, hey, make it fit. I don't want to leave Carolina. If you make do whatever you got to do. You right. know, you work. Right. You still work for me. Right. You know? And you know, Josh Norman tried to go back and sign that sign that tender, but it was too late. So that just goes to show that he here oh. he's hurting inside, man. Uh, well, you know, the bigger the deal, the agent. I, oh, I hate right. The bigger cut they receive. I got you. Totally, I understand. Yeah. Uh, they have no loyalty to anyone but their client. Big Q also say, and without the help of that front seven, we'll see just how good. Exactly. We're going to see in the first three games how good yeah. Norman is, man, because he's going up against the, the top wide receivers in the league. There's Brian going to – he going to punk him. He going to punk him, man. Yeah. You, you know. <laughs> then you got Odell Beckham. Yeah, you, you, got know he got, you know he got something against him. Brown. They're probably the top three in the league right there. Yeah, so we just gonna see how it goes, man. So let's go ahead and, and cut this short because the, the draft gonna be on in a couple minutes. Hey, Big Q, you never told us who you think the Carolina Panthers should get with the, yeah, with the linebacker, but he think they're gonna get the offensive oh. line. Okay, yeah, that's right. Thank you. I'm glad. See, we there, bro. Yeah, we there. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's gonna get punished, especially by OBJ. Yeah, Beckham gonna get him. Uh, okay. All right, bro. Thanks for yeah. we had a nice little show. I think I covered everything in NFL. Next week we'll be talking about the NBA playoffs because that stuff right there is getting crazy, man. Messed up all my picks, but anyway, not much of a first round, but yeah, you know. nah, second round gonna be gonna be nice. Yeah, gonna be nice. But we'll talk about that next week. Right. Uh, thanks again, thanks Big Q. We we'll try to do the best we can, man. I, I think I get off air. I might talk about the NBA on the on the sports notes. But we'll see, man. But we're definitely going over to the NBA next week. We're going to sign off. This is Get With It Sports. This is Get With It Sports, place where you get your sports with a little swag. I'm Glass. And I'm Brandon. The best, best tag team tandem out here in sports talk. We just finished our episode seven of Two Cent Deposit on Sports. We talked a little bit about the draft in the NFL. And you can catch us next week. Big uh, Brandon, tell everybody where they could follow you man you can find follow me at leb412 on twitter and leb412 at sbcglobal.net bam uh you can follow me on twitter at get with the sports you can follow our get with the, get with the sports facebook page at facebook.com forward slash get with the sports you could if you if you ain't follow us on spreaker go to spreaker.com mm -hmm. search for get with the sports media we got all our shows on there. We got sports notes, my 30-minute sports thing while y'all going to and fro from work, run on your errands. Uh, our NFL weekly picks, when the, when the season starts, me and Brandon get together and give, our, give you our picks for the week. And, of course, my baby, uh, my high stampede podcast where I talk everything Denver Broncos. I'm trying to get my boy here, Brandon, to get a podcast on with the Bears, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and if you got any comments, questions, whatever, you could email us at get with sports two. That's number two at gmail.com. And as always, from get with the sports, place where you get your sports with a swag. Be good, be safe, get with it. Peace. <laughs>